Hello everyone, good morning or good afternoon as the case may be. Uh, my name is Hema Pratapa. I'm one of the co-founders of Vitara Chats. We are um, one of the MicroStrategy partners focusing exclusively on visualizations. And we'd like to welcome you to our session today on how you can unleash 30 plus new and exciting visuals with MicroStrategy. Now, some of you might be already familiar with what Vitara Chats offers, and there might be others who are um, new to Vitara Chats. So what we'll be doing today is we'll be catching you up to see what the offering is all about, but we'll also focus on what are the new features. So we'll prioritize and start with the uh, new enhancements and new charts that Vitara Chat has put together in its last few releases. So the um, customers who are coming back can get a taste for that. And uh, for those of you who are learning afresh, it will you know still be all new anyway. And we will also cover some of the favorites that most of our customers really end up using and liking a lot within Vitara Chat offering so without further ado let's kind of go ahead and begin our journey uh, what is Vitara charts and what do we bring to the table so with the changing BI landscape I think end users nowadays are a lot more engaged and they end up seeing a lot of options whether it's competitive tools whether it's TV you know watching a sports channel information is presented as a visual which is interactive which is configurable which is dynamic which is having you know animation etc so there's a lot of options out there which are interesting and that's what um, we understand about the visual journey it's continuously evolving it's very very dynamic and that's what we bring to the table uh, which is an add-on on top of MicroStrategy. Now we work closely with MicroStrategy to ensure that we are staying lockstep with what they are bringing to the table. So our tagline is really everywhere that MicroStrategy works, Vitara Charts will work also. So you'll notice we work on workstation, web, mobile, library, wherever you're using your product, Vitara Charts works all over um, those interfaces. Additionally, we ensure that the product is fully ready to use. So if you'd like to you know, get started and try this out on your data right after this uh, webcast when you're all pumped up, you can set it up in a matter of minutes and get going. Um, we, we, uh, we also make sure that we come with technical support. So as you're working through your visual journey and beyond, if you want to engage and understand what the tool brings, you have a question, you have an idea how you want to do things, we have readily available uh, technical support engineers who are you know happy to help you out so that's kind of the differentiation of Vitara fully ready to use extremely functional everywhere and also fully supported so once Vitara charts journey starts uh, you will be able to note, see that although we say we have 30 charts we really can go beyond a lot of our charts are configurable in different ways so you end up with 45 different unique options just using the Vitara charts platform and these are fundamentally divided into uh, two or three kind of combinations or buckets of data if you buckets of charts if you will one is the fundamental charts the bar chart line chart etc and the reason we have these fundamental charts is because we end up with so many special features for these charts so you'll notice that each of these charts will come with play access animation you can add customized markers to all the charts you can create these charts and make them you know uh, into polar mode charts you can add different background colors based on business conditions that come up you can add customized labels to them so we'll walk you through all these differences along with even the simple grid chart and how we have kind of enhanced that grid chart to support hierarchy filters to support deltas inside the grid to add images inside the grid to create financial statements etc so we'll walk you through that along with our interesting charts like calendar chart like honeycomb chart like lollipop chart etc that we've added freshly to the product as well so what is the best way to begin the Vitara charts journey I would say we start off with our um, website so you go to Vitara charts com and from here we have a few different options the blog is a great resource to kind of check um, visually scan through and see what's new with Vitara charts what different features have you uploaded because we will um, create these blog entries and also post with the visual images so it's an easy way to see what's new uh, and what's exciting with some current data 
but additionally if you're more of a reader you can always go to vitara chat's product documentation and scan through that but the most interactive way to explore vitara charts is always clicking on the vitara charts interactive charts button which takes you to the micro strategy cloud server now this cloud server is fully public so what does that mean so this means that um, everybody whether it's you your colleague your friend whoever wants to explore vitara charts you can log in and look at all the these examples that we are going to show today and explore them at leisure so that you can get a full sense of what Vitara Charts offers. So what we'll start off with is very quickly show you what enhancements we are offering in the grid chart, uh, particularly with the new features that we have added. So hierarchy filter and hierarchy chart is something that is um, new that has come up. In fact, one of our um, customers in the dark region has been responsible for this enhancements. So there is a common requirement when you are working with a large um, kind of data set, right? So when you have a long, long list of product names, a long list of numbers or anything like that, you'd like to be able to uh, filter on those. You'd like to be able to um, capture that data and um, uh, easily f um, uh, have the end user navigate it. So you might have um, something like this where you have you know hierarchy that you can navigate this is easily created using the Vitara charts grid right you don't have to have a micro strategy hierarchy you can basically drag and drop the necessary attributes in this case you have the year you have a category a subcategory and in that you have product names now if you want to create any kind of a filter on top of it to be used inside the rest of the dashboard you just click on the grid apply your filter and then you start um, going to your product name here which is obviously the one which has the most entries and you can type any condition so let's say we type um, the word bush here so every product that contains the word bush will come up and then you can use this now to to filter on the rest of the dashboard so your um, grid is now acting as a hierarchy drill where you can select and find the elements that you are interested in and then use that as a filter for the uh, rest of the dashboard as well so now your grid is fully transformed. The same grid, of course, uh, you can uh, create multiple things with it. So here I have inside the grid, simple sales data, simple last year sales data, but instead of displaying it as a number, we are changing a right click and display style and making it into a horizontal bar. So you have the option to display the bar only, bar plus number, bar with coloring, bar with threshold, etc. So I have last year sales, current year sales, when I'm calculating the change on it, which is what we want to see, right? Growth or decline, you'll notice the change and the percentage change are displayed as your horizontal bars and horizontal pins. So we have the ability inside any column to kind of change and add delta variance values like this with in a, in a visual format. So this is an addition to the grid as well. So for those of you customers who are already using Vitara charts, the hierarchy search filter and using it um, as this ch change and delta change representations inside the grid are both new features. For customers who are freshly starting out with Vitara charts, you can also do a bunch of other things. So as you can see, this is a hierarchy that we have created horizontally, but vertically as well, you can um, kind of go into any of the grids and you can add groupings. So just like you would do with Excel, you could go ahead and create groups of data that, um, that would be, let's say, metrics you have. 12 week trends, three month trends, bunch of information that you would like to group, um, then you can create these kinds of groups like you would do in Excel. You would save a bunch of space depending on the industry that you're in or you, if you want, you can group them logically so that it's easy to separate and read as well. So horizontal grouping, vertical grouping, micro charts, deltas, small multiples as well as um, these types of deltas can be created both inside um, your grid data and also outside your grid data for your bars and so forth which we'll walk through shortly. So these are the different enhancements um, that are available for the Vitara grid chart. So if you're creating uh, financial statements, if you're creating um, co company information um, that you'd like to present to your executives and you want to embed your grid uh, with images uh, or with kind of um, very representative charts inside uh, the grid, this would be a fantastic interface for you. So this is just another example. Let's say you have a profile of all your employees 
or you offer various products and you have conducted some surveys on the satisfaction scores anything like that you present it in a grid format you can just right click and then change the display um, format and change it into a star into you know here we have just shown you multiple images so you can get a sense for it but the grid can now become a very very visual way of presenting information rather than just a string of um, numbers and uh, values presented very blandly so this is uh, these are the enhancements for grid if you'd like to learn more what i would say is please um, come to our website have a look at these interactive grid features uh, we have barely scratched the surface you can certainly explore more of what we bring to the table there so with that, we will transition into the special features segment where we take a basic chart like a bar chart or a line chart and show you uh, what all can be done with, um, with these basic charts as well. So let's start off with even something as simple as a bar chart, right? For a given bar chart, what are the different ways in which you, know, you can manipulate and add uh, formatting, add different features and elements um, is what this particular dashboard represents. So in this bar chart, you'll notice that uh, for, for the one thing we have added, pattern fill. So this is something new that we have brought to the table. Earlier we would do solid colors. You could shade the solid colors with different gradients. You could do thresholds, etc. But in this element, you'll notice that a particular chart, which is you have um, sales and you have forecast values. Now forecast values are always, it is, it is traditionally graded as um, slash pattern because they are not firmed up numbers, they're projected numbers. So you can add these types of different patterns um, into the bar chart, into the pie chart, etc. But we are sh particularly showing you this one with the bar chart to show how projected values and actual values can be compared. Once you compare projected and actual or even last year's sales and current year's sales, a lot of customers have asked us to be able to create this kind of a lipstick chart. So lipstick chart is nothing but overlaying two bars on top of each other where you have the target as a broader bar and the actual as the smaller bar in between so this can also be done with vitara charts bar charts now and for those of you that like a more visual representation of your data you can take your bar and embed images as well so here we are showing percentage of male um, male employees and percentage of female employees and we are simply uh, converting the bar and embedding images in the bar so every single uh, option with vitara chart so you can do images as well so just like we did images in the grid uh, demo earlier you'll notice that even in the bar charts or the line charts you can add images as markers this is one option where we have different countries this is just an attribute element in microstrategy where you have the image also in the database and once you pull it up in the vitara charts it shows up as the marker so this is one option and the second option is you can replace the entire bar with the image also so those are two different ways in which you could do it we also added many styling elements for the bars these are new the ability to do images as markers is new as well so if you have not seen this before or used this before how, or want to figure out how to use it we have um, our tech, tech, tech support uh, team that can help you out and make sure you're um, successful with it um, this is another styling element which we have added which is the rounding of the edges so you'll notice the entire data labels have been removed and everything is being present inside the bar so very very kind of stylized bar here um, and here you will notice that we've added some background colors so we've taken a simple bar chart and after a particular point we said you know what this is all current data this is future data so we've added a little background information and you'll be surprised to know that this also is a bar chart and what we've done with the bar chart here is created something called as a polar mode effect so you can do this for all our basic charts line chart bar chart area chart so just because i'm showing these stylized elements with a bar does not mean that they're restricted to a bar um, all of them would be applicable for the rest of the vitara charts as well so here we have taken a bar chart and all we are doing at the bar is we are going ahead and turning on something called as a, a polar mode and if we disable that it becomes a regular bar chart if we turn it on it becomes a concentric ring circle so if you're doing percentage attainment for different departments this would be a great way to show them side by side to see which department is kind of outperforming its goals 
and which department is lagging behind this is the same thing you have taken an area chart or a line chart and you have uh, applied the polar mode on top of it you can very easily convert it back or enable the polar mode so these are um, newer additions to the vitara toolkit as well where you are able to take your basic charts and completely change the look and feel uh, so that they look almost like different charts as well you are already familiar with the play access animation so this has been available for some time now with vitara but for those of you customers that are new to vitara charts um, this is something that's available for all our basic charts whether it's a line chart bar chart area chart etc if you want to see change over time um, this is a fantastic way to do that you just drag and drop um, your items into the play section so we don't really go with the philosophy of a lot of coding we want it to be extremely simple so if you want to add or remove something it will usually be the click of a button so you drag and drop and you start display animation right here so this is for the bar chart but similarly it's available for various other chart options as well we've also enhanced um, our ability to add deltas and scaling um, information for our charts so let me quickly show you the deltas option so in a bar chart when you have let's say actual versus plan kind of data now we have the ability to add the delta so what what is your first thought when you see actual versus plan you want to calculate the difference between the two um, so we allow you to do that right within the chart this is a new feature um, that is available so if you choose not to do it you can always set them to none but if you are interested and you want to calculate what is the difference between my actual versus plan you can now add your absolute variance to it and you can say that's the difference or you can add your delta variance to say what is the percentage difference between my actual and my plan so both of those things can be um, now added uh, as a part of the vitara charts single chart itself so you don't have to even swap out and get a new chart as a part of the chart you can now add the delta and the delta variance this is again applicable for line chart uh, sorry bar chart as well as the column chart and you've seen the same thing is available in the vitara grid as well so you can do the delta and um, variance calculations and represent them visually like this inside the grid also which we had shown a little earlier but if you joined a little late this is one of the key features that we've added into the vitara charts grid now beyond um, the basic charts I think the common requirement that a lot of our customers continuously come up with has been the ability to do customized data labels and customized fills for the charts so these are two things that we have um, uh, enhanced quite a bit so earlier we saw the pattern fill in the um, column chart now you're seeing it in the bar chart you can also notice the same thing is applicable in the pie chart and the different types of fills available not just the slash pattern we've tried to showcase a few different fills over here in the uh, bottom right corner as well so customized fills is something we added in the last uh, two releases so if you're not using it i hope you definitely start to take a look at it soon um, even the customized labels and the customized legends that we offer are also enhanced so from a labeling standpoint right sky is the limit we allow you to do four different kinds of data label customization the simple one is in every data label you can go ahead and change things up so that you can add any kind of static text so first is we add static text and you can display that you see the word static text has come up now you can also add dynamic text so in other words this is only showing my current values but if i want to pull up last year information then i can just use a shortcut and pull up sales last year and display that right here so you have current year and last year values displayed uh, even though last year is not on this particular uh, graph so you can add dynamic values like that static values like that this is the first level of customization you can also then go ahead and create conditional customization where you say you know what in if i am the top one or if i am the top two or top three then color the bar but in addition to coloring i want a custom data label for my top values so my top values uh, should be shown to me in um, a dark green color 
and I want to um, you know display that so you'll now notice that my top values the top three values are showing their data labels in in a green color as opposed to this so you can identify your data points only if certain event occurs if they are in the top if they have not crossed the threshold any such business condition and you can highlight and create customized data labels the same kind of flexibility is available with your legends as well you'll notice the legend here is created a horizontal layout on top but you can make this um, a legend layout into let's say um, a center a horizontal in, into a left um, and then you can say I want it to be a vertical layout and I want it to be set up in the middle and I want it to be much bigger so I make it you know um, 20 Right. So you can uh, fully customize even your uh, legend settings and kind of adjust and change how you want to lay it out with regard to the rest of the dashboard design that you're working with. So both your um, data labels as well as your legends become extremely flexible for you and give you an additional kind of push to make your uh, visualization journey more adventurous. The same thing applies with background colors as well. So we'd briefly shown the background colors when we were looking at bars, but you'll notice here that we have uh, background colors for all our charts. So in this scenario, we've created um, a, a vertical plot line and a horizontal plot line and this area is colored in green uh, if you'd like to learn more details on how to do this we are more than happy to help you please contact vitara support for it uh, if you're trying to display change over time and some event has happened at a particular time and after that you changed your business or you added a new model and you want to see the before and after you can demark it like this or if you have a cutoff you have a kpi cutoff saying you know last year sales were was this much everything that crosses last year's sales is good and fantastic everybody who has not even touched last year's sales is is kind of really need to you know picking up their game so you can kind of create this kind of a visualization for that so you you can use this background colors in a variety of different ways multiple background colors can also be created so in other words you can have a yellow zone you can have a green zone etc so very very um kind of flexible there so everything we've done so far is really basic charts. So they are line charts, they're bar charts, they're grid charts, things that you are used to applying in your interface. And these are not some things that, that you'd be surprised to see and go, oh, this is a new chart, my users won't accept it. These are regular use charts and how we've managed to upgrade the uh, experience of using that now what we'll do is we'll try to cover some of the new and interesting charts that we have exclusively as a part of vitara charts these charts are not available as a part of microstrategy uh, nevertheless what we'd like to do is we'd like to cover uh, these charts and show you how you can apply them so this first chart that i'm showing you right now is called as a honeycomb chart so in the honeycomb chart you have a bunch of hexagons obviously looking like a honeycomb um, fantastic for displaying your server availability you know one of our customers came up with this use case and we are more than happy to kind of support and create something like this for them so we start off with a simple vitara bubble chart and once you added the bubble chart you can then change the shape of the bubbles and create this kind of an, um, a hexagon and you can apply threshold so whenever a server becomes unavailable the load is high the cpu utility is high whatever your business definition is based on that you can color code and change this so this is a new chart uh, that we have added in the last couple of uh, releases so for those of you who haven't seen this before i hope you you will find many many use cases uh, for this chart the second one that I'd like to show you as a new and interesting chart is, of course, our calendar chart. Now, calendar chart has been traditionally our, one of our most uh, popular charts. So it's super simple to create a calendar chart. You would, um, you, you know, always take simple data. Like in this case, we have date and we have sales and we would simply select Vitara charts to lay it out. Um, in this format and you can always configure the calendar chart so the calendar chart um, can be used um, to change up the 
threshold so you can just uh, modify the colors based on your business definition uh, you can say you know what if sales is greater than something or sales is meeting some number or less than some number color that day uh, as a red or a green or a yellow you can obviously customize all these options but in addition to customizing just the display of the calendar you can also change the calendar in from a day level calendar uh, to a week level calendar or you can change it into a month level calendar or even an hour level calendar so if you are having data which is at the hour level like a call center data availability of staff um, customers coming in whatever your use case might be you can take each day lay it out in 24 hours and color code it based on the business that you are you know looking at and how you can display it in a very very um, intuitive way back to your end users once you have the calendar set up just like i had shown you the hierarchy grid where we are using the grid as a filter even the um, micro strategy um, elements can use the calendar as a filter so you can have a big dashboard where you select multiple pieces of data from your calendar and that can act as a filter so this is a very popular use case that our um, customers leverage and use also so one of those things where we have a very simple chart but it ends up being extremely unique and interesting the waffle chart is another such chart um, this is also an existing chart but we've done a lot of enhancements to this so you can use Use this for displaying uh, percentage to whole values so it's a great replacement for um, a pie chart uh, if you're showing that or a stacked bar chart now a simple waffle chart can be displayed in multiple ways so you'll notice here that we have a block waffle where we are showing percentage contribution of different populations worldwide you can take this waffle and now change it into a block waffle so now it's it's displayed in this format or you can change it back into a grid waffle but then change the marker types so instead of having circles you can go with target symbols you can go with a whole bunch of uh, options this kind of markers are um, applicable and can be added to any kind of charts so earlier we were showing you bar charts where we had a human figure um, if I can quickly pull that up right here so over here this is nothing but placing simple markers and filling those markers up to show percentage achievement so similarly um, if you look at some of our um, examples that we have here so this one is a simple bar chart and we were trying to show use of toilet paper across different countries per uh, capita and then we ended up using the symbol and using that symbol as a marker to fill up the charts and you all seen earlier where we had used a flag of a nation to mark uh, as a marker as well so a lot of these uh, enhancements that are, are that are sh being shown in one chart are applicable across many many charts so as you explore the charts you'll certainly see that so the waffle chart and then the same waffle can be changed into a list so if you are uh, expressing, you know, employee compositions, uh, customer satisfaction scores, uh, employee happiness scores, uh, distribution across different age groups, across different levels, anything like that, this is a great way to represent them uh, visually back to your management. So some of the new and interesting charts that we tried to cover over there and we will close this off with our KPI charts. KPI charts are always extremely popular uh, because they are used regardless of industry. I think the most popular KPI chart that we have had uh, which has been used forever is our animated KPI chart. Uh, now this is very very similar to the gauge um, chart except that the level of the water represents the attainment data and you can uh, color the chart so if you have reached a certain attainment you can f change the fill to be a certain color like reds greens yellows traffic light symbols whatever makes sense we also of course offer the traditional gauge along with a variety of ways in which you can customize it so the traditional gauge comes with options to change the number of um, uh, you, you know uh, slots that it's divided into the start value can be different the marker type can be changed a background image can be added so all those types of adjustments are available in addition we have a variety of um, 
KPI charts that are extremely flexible like the bullet chart. So bullet chart we also um, have done a lot of enhancements. So first thing is you can do a bullet chart with a play axis. So you can see how the bullet uh, attainment changes over time. So typically if you're trying to do a quarterly attainment uh, and you want to say over the rest of the year or since past year how the performance has been. So you can simply take your bullet chart and go ahead and add the play axis to it. Additionally what we have added in the bullet chart is the number of zones Zones. So typically bullet chart allows you to have three zones but one of our customers came back and said we have a requirement to make five zones. So now we allow you to customize any number of zones. It's not restricted to two or three or five. You can go in here and create a new band. You can create a, your business condition and apply it so that you can end up with four, five, seven bands as the case may be. So the bullet chart also has been made um, extremely flexible. Even the number of markers that can be added on the bullet chart can be changed from one to two to three, etc. So you will notice uh, as you come with us on this journey, right, today has been a glimpse into the possibilities. It's certainly not exhaustive or covered every single aspect of what Vitara Chats brings to the table. But I hope it gave you um, a, a little bit of an idea about what we offer and what we are all about. And um, this should hopefully inspire you, you know, get you pumped up to download Vitara Chats and try them out uh, with your own data or participate in one of the the competitions that we have to make you know visualizations very very compelling and interesting um, but if you are you know wanting to use it the best way is to just go to our website download it and just start playing around with it um, and if you are wondering you know what I'm on an older version of micro strategy will all the charts work absolutely we certify all versions of micro strategy and we test for uh, retroactively for the older versions as well so as long as you're in a certified version of micro strategy we will support it and we'll also support all aspects right like web mobile desktop so even if you're planning a mobile application you can rest assured that it will work seamlessly and if you are interested in a trial key just send me a note hema at vitara charts or sales at vitara charts.com and we will be sure to get back to you very very quickly with a trial key uh, we do um, have as i said 30 different charts but once you start playing around with the options you'll notice that we Lua have more than 45 or 50 charts that you can come up with and probably more your imagination is the limit there um, and you can um, definitely contact me if you have questions around how you can license it how you can use it we are very flexible we have perpetual options which are more in line with traditional software purchases we have term options which are more in line with subscriptions that you might take to micro strategy cloud etc so we will sync up and align with you on whatever your requirements are with regard to licensing if you think of anything else um, if you have comments questions um, if you have any feedback or if you just like to connect and take your visual journey further um, this is my email address please feel free to reach out to me we'd love to hear from you and i hope that you enjoyed this session and found it a productive use of your time thank you so much for joining today